Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here, and I've got another video on precision farming in Farming Simulator 19. And you may be asking, why am I standing in the middle of the field again? Well, I'm actually on a tractor. But, what I've got is a test here to kind of clear up a little bit of confusion possibly that could be in the community right now about what the nitrogen levels are and what the preferred soil type are for each crop. So what I've done is I planted four different rows of wheat right now in this field. Now this field is Ravenport and it's big field number eight. And I was able to find a spot close enough here together. Well, let me show you on the map. So this is the map and you can see that we have the four different soil types now what we've what i've been told by a couple map modders is that loam is 125 percent product or a crop yield bonus and that's the middle section right here in the gray the next one is going to be sandy loam which is the green at 100 percent then you come over to the silty clay the black at 90 percent and then we finish off with loamy sand here in the yellow at 90 or 80. I'm sorry, 80 on the yellow loamy sand. So what I did is I went and put in four different rows of wheat. That's what I'm on right now. So if I come over to here and I show you guys fruit types, you're going to be able to see this is my wheat. So four rows and it matches up inside this. They're all perfectly in line to that. So the next thing I did is I went and set my pH levels all the way across. So I did automatic setting on this and once again these are all within this. So you can see everything here is within that. So when I planted I put automatic um, liquid nitrogen or liquid uh, fertilizer in the um, the planter. So when we look at nitrogen, you can see everything here is the way it should be. Now, if we remember, our loamy sand was all the way on the left hand or the right hand side. So this right here is our loamy sand. And if I come down here, that's 140. That's exactly what it should be. So we're going to turn that off. Next is going to be silty clay. That's this section right here. And if you remember, or if it's going to be 160. That's what it's going to be required at. After that is going to be sandy loam. And that's right here at 180. And then left, last, we have 200, and that is loam. So let me turn all of these back on so we can see them. So that's our nitrogen all the way across. And that's exactly where we're playing to that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let all these grow all the way into harvest stage. And then we're going to come back and harvest them and see what our yields are. And what I'm expecting to see is that loam is going to be at 125. Then you're going to have sandy loam at 100. Silty clay at 90. And that one all the way on the far side with the loamy sand at 80. What I'm also going to do is check out the reduction, the ending result of what our um, nitrogen level is. So what I mean by that, let's go back over here and look at this. This is our nitrogen levels right now. So on this one here, loam, okay, we should see a 180 point drop, which means I should only be left with 20 kilograms per hectare. And this one. The next one right here, we should see 160 drop, which means if we started at 180, I should be left with 20 here also. Silty clay is going to take out 160, but we started at 160, which means we should have zero left here. And then on loamy sand, we start at 140. It's going to take out 140, so we should have zero. So on the middle two, we should see 20. 
and the outside two, we should see zero. That's my prediction based on the numbers that I've seen and the research that I've done. So we're going to find out how true that is. And let's get this time sped up right there to 120. And I will see you guys when it's time to harvest. All right, everybody, it is time to harvest. All four little plots here are good to go. So let's uh, go ahead and turn this thing on, get it lowered down. And we are good to go. So I, uh, I've got the fast header on here just to make really, really short work of this. Um, but I want you guys to see that I am harvesting all of this myself. There's no cheating or worker or anything like that. Maybe if I can get this header to work. This thing keeps giving me grief, you all. If you've watched any of my other videos, this thing is just, man. four of them here really quickly all right so there we are so let's um let's take a look at the map all right so once again these are our soil types right here so let's jump over to yield because that's what we really want to see and right here you can see that if we go to 125 percent that's right here and if we so let's go ahead and turn that one off and we come to 100 percent that should be the one right next to it there we go if we come to 90 and 80 exactly what we thought we I thought we would see so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the rest of this here that's the first time I did the map just so we could uh, you know what we'll turn all of these there we go so that's as expected because if we look at yield or uh, soil type right here you know you can see that it it matches up to what we thought what i predicted what the data that i've looked at before but this is validation this right here is proof that you guys are seeing it now the next thing you may ask what happens to ph it drops down just a little bit okay so we started out at 6.75 on loam okay and that's this section and it's going to drop down to 650 now okay and if we started out at None of these were 650, um, 625, okay? 625 is now going to drop down or sorry, 650 drops to 625 and 6 drops to 575 and 7 drops to 675. So it dropped 0.25 every time you harvest. So next is going to be nitrogen. Now, this is the really interesting one that I'm really, really intrigued about. So, here we go. So, I turned them all off. <laughs> we got just a little bit left. But what I want to see is which one of these are at zero. Ooh, nothing. Okay. It's quite interesting. What are at 20? Okay. Nothing. 40. There we go. So the 40s is what we were left with. All right. So on silty clay and sandy or loamy sand, silty clay and loamy sand, we are still setting on. Is that 40? I don't know why it's showing up weird like that the two different colors I don't understand that at all but those are 40s so what that tells me is we started at 
160 and 140 on those. And we're now left with 40, which means it took out 120 and 100. So that's a little bit different than the numbers that I've got here. So I don't know if that's anything, you know, residual, if there was anything kind of left in there um, from what we started with. I wouldn't think so. But you're going to be left with 40. All right, and the next thing I want to do is jump down here to 60 and see if these turn out. See, yes, they did. So that's really interesting. Also, because I was expecting these to be at 20, so they're 40 higher than what I was anticipating. So really, really interesting here. I really don't know why they look a different color like they do. It should all be the same all the way across. Well, I guess 60 looks like that. If I turn that off, 40. But those still look darker. Those almost look like... They're like a mixture between 20s and 40s. It's so strange. I'm getting ready to show you guys some slides here really quick. And the first one I'm going to show you is going to be the pH target levels. Or the target pH levels. And we've got Loam at 6.75, Sandy Loam at 6.5, Silty Clay at 7, and Landy Soam, Loamy Sand at 6.00. And those are the targets for um, the different soil types in order of yield bonus here on wheat. So the next one I'm going to show you is target nitrogen levels. And this is whenever you're planting. So your loam needs to be at 200, your sandy loam is at 180, your silty clay is at 160, and your loamy sand is at 140. Next, nitrogen reduction at harvest. So what this means is the amount of nitrogen that you had when you started, and then the ending that you saw previous, this is that difference. Okay, so on loam, you're going to get 140 points less at harvest than when you had it planted fully fertilized. Sandy loam, 120, silty clay, 120, and loamy sand, 100. That is the difference, once again. Now, this next slide that I'm going to show you, this is nitrogen increase for one cycle of wheat. And this is going to become important if you want to really maximize your efficiency on your product that you're putting down. So we know that other types of crops do not require a lot of of nitrogen in the ground okay and also soybeans we know doesn't like any and if you over fertilize on that you could potentially reduce your yield so what this means is that you're going to have 60 left in the ground after you harvest okay so this is your nitrogen increase because we know on um Wheat, you go all the way up to 200, right? So if you had zero in the ground and you took it to full fertilization and you harvested and brought it back down, this is the values that you're left with. So 60 on loam, sandy loam is 60 also, silty clay is 40, and loamy sand is 40. So hopefully these four slides right here will help you better understand wheat in the four different types of soil in the base game precision farming now if you're on a custom map that has a custom settings for the nutrients like six ashes this one is not going to work for you please refer to that video to show those values off um but yeah i hope you guys learned something today if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on my latest precision farming videos. I will be doing many, many more of these. And go ahead and hit that notification bell too because I'm going to be releasing multiple videos a day, more than likely on this. Um, I'm going to go through every crop type that's base game. So everything that you see on the right-hand side of the screen whenever you're playing on a regular map. Now, if it's got additional crop types, I will not be covering those right now in this. I will have to find another map to do those on. And that's all dependent on that map because with precision farming, those are up to the map maker. So with that being said, have a great day, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.